Tom, it's a new year, which means that it's time for AWS to change its default settings. Uh, before you get upset, this is actually a good change. Amazon announced that S3 will now encrypt all new objects by default. This long requested change ensures that all objects saved to the storage system will be encrypted without user intervention. The encryption method used, SSE S3, has been available for quite a while, uh, but will require user intervention until now. Tom, uh, I know it sounds like storage, but this is a security question. Uh, what do you think? I think it's about damn time. I mean, I've been saying this to Amazon for how many years now? The solution to all of your embarrassing S3 leaky bucket problems is to secure the stupid things. And Amazon made an announcement. The, the announcement was actually made at the very last of December, so naturally nobody saw it. Uh, but on uh, the 5th of January, the uh, the setting was enabled by default. So by now, um, if you create a new S3 bucket in uh, Amazon, in AWS, it will be encrypted by default with this method. Uh, I believe they're doing a rolling upgrade of all the rest of them. So by April, all of them will be done. Um, but here's the thing. I get that Amazon's um, kind of washing their hands of the problem was, well, we provided encryption. You just didn't turn it on. Uh, let me change the the terms in there and see if it makes you feel any better. Uh, we put seatbelts in your car. If you didn't wear them, it's your fault. No, what you have to do is you have to make it so apparent to the users that they need to do this, um, that either you won't allow them to create an S3 bucket at all until they click the box that says encryption, which uh, will reduce your revenues, or you just transparently click the box for them, which is what they're doing. And I think it's great because from a security perspective, it allows Amazon to say that even if someone does violate the, uh, you know, the, the bucket and is able to lift the data off, they're not going to be able to just easily use it. I mean, obviously, if an authorized user accesses the bucket, they'll decrypt the data and they'll be able to see everything. But if someone like accidentally leaves it open to the public and the public can get in, they won't be able to see what's there because the data will have an additional level of that. And I think that this is something that's super important because you can't trust people to do the right thing, either because they don't realize it's the right thing to do, or worse yet, especially in a world of cloud, things are moving so fast that one more checkbox to click is often something that gets forgotten. Even in the best of best practices, it's easy to overlook one little thing. The problem is, is that if you overlook, I don't know, like the subnet mask on your IP system, it's going to throw an error back and say, oh, well, you know, that's not going to work and you're going to go back and fix it. But if you, if it's an optional checkbox that increases your security posture a hundredfold, but you just forget to click it and it doesn't throw a warning whenever you uh, agree to it, that's a different issue to have. So I applaud Amazon for stepping up and saying, hey, we're finally going to enable the thing we told you to turn on anyway. And I would expect that nobody's going to notice except for the hackers who are now going to kick the can down the road a little bit more because an easy way for them to uh, get data just disappeared.